There's been considerable response to the 4.6 liter stroker inline six cylinder engine build. This common Jeep rebuild strategy is not only popular but seems to generate a lot of misconceptions about why one might actually do a stroker motor. At the magazine site I've shared at length details about the build of a stroker motor from a 4 liter Jeep inline six cylinder engine. I've also included the six interview HD video series with Tony Hughes of Hughes Performance Machine on the actual construction and strategies for building the engine. What I'd like to discuss here though are my reasons for building a stroker motor. They may not be the same as others. Some use these engines for racing, others for general purpose use, and I lean more toward the general purpose side. A stroker motor, in my view, is an improvement of the trail and street performance of any Jeep equipped with a 4 liter or a 4.2 liter inline six cylinder engine. When I say any Jeep, that could be an XJ Cherokee from 1987 all the way through 2001, the Grand Cherokee, many of them were equipped with the 4 liter engine from 1992 to 2004, the TJ Wrangler. YJ Wrangler and even the CJ Jeep, the most popular engine in history, has been the inline six cylinder 4.2 liter or 4 liter engine. Why would we want to take the crankshaft out of a 4.2 liter engine and put it in a 4 liter engine? What's wrong with a 4.2 liter engine or a 4 liter engine without this hybrid conversion? The 258 or 4.2 liter was one of the best, as we used to call it, stump pulling engines ever designed. It has a long stroke and in that sense a lesser size bore. The engine produces a massive amount of torque and that torque rise is quick. All of the torque comes in by 2000 RPM. In the case of the 4 liter engine by design, the engine had a larger bore, was over square, and a shorter stroke. And the end result was an engine that would do really well in mid-range RPM, higher RPM, and in that sense be a more modern engine for emission controls and other needs. Along with that change in bore stroke configuration on the 4 liter, there was a distinct change in the cylinder head combustion chamber design to improve the combustion and also to make emission standards. By contrast, the 4.2 liter cylinder head is an older design. The combustion chamber is not as efficient. It's prone to detonation or ping as we call it when subjected to low octane fuels and heavy loads. And for that reason, there are improvements in the use of a four liter head. So then the question occurs, why not take a four liter head and put it on a 4.2 liter block? That can be done with certain modifications to the head. It will actually fit the 258 or 4.2 liter block. And there are some gains there. On the other hand, the increase in bore and stroke can be accomplished by taking the 4.2 liter crankshaft and melding that with the 4 liters larger bore to produce in stock bore configuration 4.5 liters or at 30 thousandths oversized rebore 4.6 liters or 4.7 liter if you bore the block 60 thousandths oversized. That again is the 4 liter block and use the 258 or 4.2 liter crankshaft in that block. So then what happens when we produce a 4.6 liter or clean up 30 over bore 4 liter block with a 4.2 liter crankshaft as described in the Tony Hughes interview series and all of the articles that I've done. The end result of that is we have a quicker torque rise than the 4 liter stock was ever capable of doing. We also have the improvements in combustion chamber design of the 4 liter cylinder head and a larger displacement engine that can produce literally V8 kinds of power, small block V8 anyway, for use in a Jeep lightweight four-wheel drive vehicle. That raises a question about forum comments, 280, 300 horsepower produced from a 4.6 or 4.7 liter. In my view, that is not the objective. The primary objective, if I want an engine that is streetable, can meet emissions or tailpipe requirements, and actually do well on the trail. For those purposes, I don't want 280 horsepower or a build with a very high compression ratio and a big camshaft. I commonly recommend a specific grind from comp cams. I talk about it endlessly in my articles and also in the HD videos 
in corroboration with Tony Hughes's view that that camshaft is an excellent choice. When we say that, we assume that the driver of that vehicle wants good cruise highway speed performance, good acceleration, excellent rock crawling ability, and high manifold vacuum at lower engine speeds. And bear in mind, an engine is a vacuum pump. If we use a mild camshaft like I prescribed for these engines in a lower compression ratio of 8.7 to 1, we have a streetable, exceptional trail use engine. Why would that be of concern? That's of concern because primarily the builds of the 4.6 liter stroker motor are for TJ Wranglers, YJ Wranglers, even CJG, the Cherokee XJ, or 1992 to 2004 Grand Cherokee. Understanding the gains of a 4.6 liter, I would emphasize that even fuel efficiency can sometimes improve if you build the engine to a mild standard. When I'm asked, why would you build a 4.6, 4.5, 4.7 configuration Jeep inline six cylinder engine? My response is, why would you not do that? You have everything to gain. The cost of rebuilding the engine is only slightly more, even if that, than the rebuild of a stock 4 liter engine, primarily the 4.2 liter crankshaft core, and maybe some other nuanced parts. You're basically rebuilding a 4 liter engine. You have everything to gain by building a 4.6 liter stroker in terms of ultimate performance, fuel efficiency, and the overall driver satisfaction in a variety of real world driving environments like street use, highway use, trail use in particular.